And we are back, and we have our band Static Fires ready and willing to go. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello. Hello. That's good. Uh, thank you for coming down all the way from uh, Sunny Swansea. Our pleasure. Um, so, how did Static Fires start? Well, we're, we're gonna that's start. a story for another time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what did you say? The three of us used to sit after school in a uh, small music room with uh, two guitarists and a drummer. Um, where I couldn't drum and Tom didn't want to play bass. No, not at uh, that point. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you were without a bass player and you were without a drummer and you were without a singer. Yeah. Um, so Sam comes along um, out Sides of nowhere. Yeah. playing with them um, a little bit now and again. So we had three guitarists and a drummer. And, and then, yeah, we still didn't have any. <laughs> uh, didn't have a bass player because none of us went to the budge. Eventually, um, I did touch. Yeah. 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 I mean, Jack claimed for a while, oh, yeah, Sam can sing, he'll do it. <laughs> but we didn't know anything about this, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I didn't like I didn't like playing guitar in front of people, to be honest with you. But, yeah, singing was a whole different story. He auditioned for us eventually. <laughs> yeah. Um, to sing in front of these guys, I had to in in this music room in our um, comprehensive school. There was like a, a piano, and um, to <laughs> to sing in front of these, I had to like hide behind it and <laughs> sing uh, and, under, under the, the bridge, bridge yeah. <laughs> where I actually bat was. I had to sing that while hiding behind a p- piano. Did not that Just, ring alarm bells first? Thinking how how are we going to go on stage? <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah, well, it that was w- an issue, wasn't it? That might yeah, have been. We like, were we nowhere near ready yeah. at that point to go on stage. It was yeah, like a year and a half before we actually. It was more yeah. like trying to just fill slots, learn yeah. songs, and I don't know, get comfortable with the mm. idea. I, I had to learn to use the bass pedal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was learning how to actually play and yeah. be a band. The, f- the first couple of songs that we actually played, uh, I was adamant that both songs didn't have any bass drum in them because <laughs> I couldn't re- figure out how to play. Like the bass me, drum at the me same time. Uh, Jack, and Tom had previously been playing guitar for quite a few years before yeah. we all mm-hmm. came together, whether as Jack Pipe or Beer. Because like, the he first never, never touched drum kit in his life. I, until I joined in because I had. The, yeah, the first, you know, the first band we were in, it was uh, me, Tom, Jack, and then two other people. And, uh, I mean, we were trying for ages to get a drummer, and Jack was like, oh, I got an electric drum kit in the, at- in the attic, I'll do it. So, so okay, did you ever play drums? Like, no. But <laughs> <laughs> how hard can it be? <laughs> yeah. Just give it a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> He's hit stuff, right? He seems to be getting but better. But he's, yeah, he's come a long way since then, I've got to give it to him. And so but then we start. well, we played our first gig then, in... Mm-hmm. Was it July? Yeah, it was July. July yeah. of 2014. 2014. Yeah. Yes. In Neath Nord Park. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, we got, like, yeah, we, we had 30 people there. 20 we thought, yeah, we had more people coming than we thought <laughs> would actually yeah. turn up. We had about a good 25, 30 people there. It was amazing. Uh, we were rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, <laughs> we had about, what, there's 10 covers, and we've had uh, two original songs, <laughs> Spread Your Wings and... Uh, Dinner with the Psychopath. And, the, oh, and they've still they've survived. Still yeah. survived. Yeah. Well, they've kind of. gone under Ch- major, Ch- major, Ch- major Ch- adjustments. <laughs> since <but> then, yeah. <laughs> they, they have survived, yeah. We, we have a old uh, recording that we made in, uh, <laughs> in, in in Tom's living room one day. We just sat there and said, band. Yeah, we're going to make, make our own track. What we thought was um, awesome. And yeah. uh, oh, we should send this to a radio. Guy. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> and uh, now we listen to it now. Uh, what uh, the, the, the click track was still on it in the end, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just been... That kind of says everything, doesn't it? <laughs> We'll, we'll have to have her on the show. We'll play them side by side. <laughs> Before yeah. and after. I think you'd lose a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you've come a long way since then. And so uh, when did you actually uh, decide then this is going to be a thing now, then this is going to be Static Fires? I think we probably realised the potential after we went in the studio. Yeah. I, think we just so well, I, w- I will before. say when we played that first gig in Neath, something I think kind of clicked with us yeah. all. Like, yeah. This could potentially become something. Yeah. Because yeah. at the time we thought we were bloody awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't think we were rubbish, but <laughs> you know. But yeah, that that kind of gave us a lot more confidence, especially me mm. as a singer so, yeah, as well, yeah. trying to sing in front of an audience. It was, yeah. Because yeah. was that the first time you sang in front of an audience then? Um, 
one of the first. Ever. One I, I, of think, yeah, I think it could have even been we, the first time I'd actually publicly sang yeah. as like a, a gig. Because we tried to do the charity stuff in the uh, in the school, and you'd always pull out. Yeah, like, oh the, no, I can't do it. Mill would always put on <laughs> these like charity gigs with like you know just school bands and stuff. Mm. And yeah. They always wanted me to do it, but I wouldn't do it because it would be <laughs> like a audience of like five hundred kids. Yeah. And yeah. When, when you actually eventually got him to do it, I think we had twenty minutes to play. Yeah. After the first song, the speaker broke, so we spent fifteen yeah. minutes fixing the speaker, and we had to play to them all leaving because they had to go home. Yeah, yeah that was. Uh... <laughs> okay, and um, should we play a track then? Yes. yes. Yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, this is off the new EP then, which yes. is released this Friday. Yes, yes. Friday. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're gonna be playing a track called "End of the Road." Okay. How many tracks are on the EP? It's five, five tracks on the EP. So we've got End of the Road, uh, you've got Future Plans, um, which we'll be playing later. What other ones have we got on there? The two originals, Spread Your Wings, and Did All the Psychopath, and Waste My Time. Okay, uh, what's End of the Road about? It's about, like, it's about, it's actually, literally, it's about going on holiday and not wanting to leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, know, you know when you're coming to the end of something? And right, I'm not joking. Me- me- <laughs> yeah, that's literally what we wrote about, but <laughs> metaphorically speaking, yeah. I suppose it's... You could apply it to a number of things. It's about, <laughs> yeah. about loss, generally. Yeah, it? just, you know, finishing something off, you know, coming to the end. You don't really want it to end, but... I like to think you of it as a, as a, like, end credit song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is End of the Road by Static Fires, and then you'll be playing acoustically for us. We will. Yes.
It's the end of the road, I can see it coming. It's the end of the road for me. It's the end of the road, I can see. Static Fires, and this is the acoustic version of Waste My Time.
mistakes Oh yeah Oh yeah I'll wait for I'll wait for you Oh tell me what you wanna do Oh tell me what you wanna say Because you never really You are listening to the New Music Showcase, live on GTFM 107.9. That was Static Fires there. Um, I can't remember the name of the track, sorry. Uh, waste really my bad. Time. That's waste my time, sorry. That's <laughs> very, very bad DJ, and I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you guys very much for coming on. No worries. Uh, so, uh, what uh, was your experience then with writing uh, the uh, the tracks for the EP then? Did you find it hard, or was it, was it a good experience? Um, and where did you record it? It was... Well, Re- recording is an excellent experience. Yeah, yeah. recording was awesome. Yeah, the, uh, the writing um, with regards to writing, it yeah. was mixed. Like spread your wings. Mm, some so songs came really easily. So others didn't. Others took a lot of work. I think yeah. waste my time. We wrote in about a week, uh, whereas psychopath and spread your wings, we maybe wrote in about a year and a half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they changed. Wrote, so and much. wrote and rewrote and rewrote. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Long, We long took time. a lot of words out of spread your wings. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of like lots of. Uh, and and, and, and the, there, theirs and that's yeah. and I would have started to sound like Kanye West. Yeah, but <laughs> we kept those words and I would have been rapping. But. No, yeah, it, it was completely mixed for the writing, but the recording was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. Uh, yeah. Where did you record? We uh, the Boneyard the, Studio yeah. in Clandarcy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, where, where's that? That Land Land Clandarcy. just. Towards Neath, yeah, past yeah. In. yeah. Phil and Andy down there, the uh, um, yeah, shout out to Phil and Andy, yeah, the uh, boys. <laughs> they basically told us what was wrong with everything <laughs> yeah. that we were doing, yeah, <laughs> I, do this, do this, and do this, yeah. I, um, the uh, Andy, there's a he, he was a drummer, and uh, well, he still is, and uh, when I went in, uh, with uh, spread your wings, I had all these crazy fills I wanted to do, and I basically said, right, go in there, play what you want to do, and then uh, we'll take it from there, and I, I played my thing. Oh. And then he, he walked in, uh, shaking his head, like, no, right. no. <laughs> Wrong. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> no, it's, it's great, because they're, they're not just like people we work with, they're, they're, like, oh, they're almost like mentors to us. Like, yeah. They're giving us a lot of good advice. Yeah. They're, they're really cool guys, and we've got the world to thank them for. So, yeah, yeah that, was, that was an amazing experience recording. Yeah. Uh, and right then... Again, other songs like can be the good. Road took like like months. And yeah, months. yeah. It, it, it'd be yeah. one song could take months, and another song could take on the back burner while yeah. we write yeah. something else. I think, I think end of the road we wrote um, before just, waste my time. Yeah, it was just about when we were recording uh, spread your wings and psychopath. Yeah. Except we didn't finish it until after all the others months and months. Yeah, it was, it was, I think it was the last one on the EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was finished. Like it took. Just There's another thing that changes the boat. Yeah, like originally when I wrote "End of the Road," it was seven minutes long. It this really long <laughs> build-up yeah, outro, and they said, yeah, "No, nah, take that out. We'll put another chorus at the yeah, end." Yeah, just change it all. Like, yeah. Sounds a bit more punch. You it know? Does yeah, it does. Yeah. Say. It's, 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 it's it's probably, everything's probably for the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, should we play another track off that EP yeah, then? Yes. Yeah. Um, we're going to play a track called "Future Plans." Then. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, what's "Future Plans" about? It's just an angst song, isn't it? It's just it's just about anything particular, was it? It, It's kind of just about when things don't go your way. Kind of get on top, you and they don't go your way, and you're just kind of fed up. And you just Uh. pretty much how most people feel probably every day. But (laughs) yeah, okay. (laughs) All right, and this is Future Plans by Static Fires. Enjoy.
running out of time. Come on, I'll start a fight. Come on, I'll cross the line. Just have a think about what I will do to you. I'll make you see red. I'll turn you black and blue. Spit some blood, come on and take me on. Come on and throw a punch, don't think it lasts too long. I got some mouths to stop, I got some teeth to break. I'll punch your face so hard that you'll begin to shake. After I show ya You are listening to the New Music Showcase, live on GTFM 107.9. That was just Stack Fires there with six. Really enjoyed that, guys. That should have been on the EP. Yeah, <laughs> should have been. Just came in too late. Came in too late. Uh, so did you write that uh, one quite recently then? It was uh, written, actually. Uh, I think we wrote it during the time we were practising for the EP recording. Yeah. So we were like, meeting up just before, right? We were like, oh, we're a bit bored practising the same songs. Just write a new song, and we came up with that. I thought, oh, well. yeah, we kind of had all the songs we were going to record. We kind of had them all down. We knew what we were doing, so that that was created from my was free time and boldness. Yeah, it's for fun. Inspired by yeah. uh, Mr. Bean skit. 
Oh, what? sorry, sorry. It was a Rowan what? Atkinson skit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's playing an invisible drum kit. And uh, it starts off with him going... Yeah, well, actually, the reason this is great is because Jack went like that. Okay, I want the song. I got an idea. And it's going to start off going... And then he was like, I want you to go bam, 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 bam. And that kind of created from there then. But yeah, shame I couldn't be on the uh, well, it's one yeah. for the next EP. Yeah. 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 One for the future. <laughs> uh, that was very good. So if anyone wants to listen to that again, it'll be on our SoundCloud page tomorrow night, uh, Showcase Wheels. Uh, SoundCloud.com forward slash Showcase Wheels. Um, where can people buy the EP then? It's going to be released uh, this Friday. Okay. Yes. EP released... launch at the scene. Yes. It's going to be released this Friday at uh, EP launch of the scene. Uh, hard copied. And we are working on getting it... Uh, yeah, on iTunes, iTunes digital Spotify. Yeah. So yeah, we're we gonna be putting them on YouTube. They'll be on well. YouTube. They'll be on YouTube by anyway, Saturday. So, yeah. um, are they on your SoundCloud page as well, or is that? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll be on they'll, the they'll be on the SoundCloud yeah. page, yeah, as yeah. well. So, uh, so anyone should check you out on uh, uh, Facebook, which is just Static Fires, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yep. Yep. And uh, on Twitter, at Static Fires. Yeah, at yep. Static Fires. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, uh, are you going to be recording any videos or anything for this, or is it just um, this is the EP at the moment? Yeah, we we we, we, we want to. It's just yo know, time and money. We're only just le- releasing the EP. Like, yeah. <laughs> the time, yeah. like, for we very tired. The EP like eight months People. ago. Yeah, we recorded the EP in July, and we had to try and figure out how to release it on our own. And it took us until about September to realize, oh, hang on, it's not done. We have to. <laughs> we have a lot we have to do actually, yeah, and. Yeah. and uh, so we've been flat out the past couple of months, yeah, but yeah. I don't know, maybe the Friday now will yeah. be a bit of a sigh of relief. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be finally out. Um, yeah. you've, got a, uh, you've got In With The Jellyfist with you, uh, House of Hosts and Big uh, Migs Migs Muff. Muff. Migs Migs Buff. Migs Buff. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so that's <laughs> the scene uh, this Friday in Swansea. Yes. yes. Um, have you got any other gigs lined up then as well? Uh, next one after that is uh, Seven Sins Festival from uh, Total Entertainment. Um, 27th of March. Yeah. Um, we, you know... Uh, we started working with them a while ago. Yeah, and uh, you know, talking with him, it's been great for us. You know, Mark and Chrissy. You know, yeah. Uh, M- Mark's coming on the show to actually co-present on the twenty. 20- really? Twenty-first, uh, uh, I think. Yeah. Oh. Wow, yeah, yeah, we're doing yeah, a seventh awesome. special with Fire Road, so uh, <laughs> have Mark on with us. Yeah, Mark's a good guy. Fair play. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really cool guy. Really nice guy as well. You know, just same with Chrissy as well. Yeah, Chrissy both again. like they just. Well, just you know Every time you speak to them, they're just happy. Yeah, it's <laughs> just so happy to see Personally, you. I don't get how they do it. <laughs> they're very busy as well, aren't they? Very busy working two jobs and uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. pr- pr- production company and uh, yeah. the, what was uh, Cherry? Cherry, 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 Cherry. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. So much. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so seven sins then, and anything else after that then? Um, we have an acoustic. Performance. Yeah, well, one of her friends is putting on a fair, yeah. and she's asked us to play. Some yeah, is, are they calling it the Nameless Fair? Nameless yeah, fair. Nameless yeah, yeah. Fair. That's going to be in uh, Cinema, Cinema and Co. Co. Yeah. In Swansea. Yeah. In Swansea. Right, like, equally. On the eighth of April. Yeah, yes. I think we're yeah. playing around midday. Yeah. But that'll be another acoustic set. Yeah. We'll um, be selling our EPs actually. Yeah, selling yeah. our EPs and we'll T-shirts. Yeah, well, there's like us, Bandicoot, Mixed Buff are playing as well. Yeah, Mixed Buff. There's a couple of others. I'm not. I'm not 100 percent certain on the. The lineup, but yeah, it's, a it's gonna be good. Free yeah. entry, isn't it? And then after that, fair. I don't really think we'll. Oh, well, we've got that. Uh, what is it in Sheffield? Yeah. Something. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're lined up to play at uh, Highway to Hell Fest. I don't know, there's, there's, yeah. some, there's something going something on. Mark told us about oh, ages ago. It's, it's, it's like September or something in Sheffield. But, yeah, we, we forgot it's in about Sheffield, it. so that'll be interesting. <laughs> we'll, have to be, we'll have to be hey, able to get to Sheffield yeah. by September. <laughs> Starting but, fires up north. We are looking into doing more. And stuff. Yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, we want to play more further afield because uh, as well and good as Swansea is, don't get me wrong, we've got a great music scene at the moment, but we need to start branching yeah, out like a bit more and we want to start playing further afield. And the gig. Have more people than just Swansea listening yeah. to yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So the gig in Sheffield is going to be a good, uh, It'll be a nice good thing for us. Mm. You know, it's going to be perhaps more exposure. As well, we, really, we really enjoyed when we played in Cardiff in Fuel as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, that was really good for like us. In uh, yeah. September? Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so yeah. mind you, we struggle with traveling. We struggle getting here <laughs> through someone's fault. I don't know who that was. Um, yeah, you missed <laughs> <someone's laughs> <fault. Yeah. laughs> Second exit on the roundabout. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so we got that. Uh, we got the seven sins. We got that acoustic gig in Cinema and Co. And we got uh, the gig in Sheffield then. But we got a couple more later. What's on, that? Uh, I think we got maybe a few more later on. But it's uh, definitely toning down now. 
Yeah, it's a a slowed up for a bit. We had a yeah, two months. Couple, of, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, we had uh, four gigs in ten days. Yeah, four gigs in ten yeah. days, which was two. Two were uh, well, one was on a Thursday, one was on a Friday. Both at the scene. Yeah, both at the scene, like <laughs> the next day, and may as well have slept over. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just had a tent. Yeah. <laughs> Just put the bass drum over. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much for coming down. Yeah, no oh, thanks. Well, yeah, good pleasure. luck with the EP launch. I hopefully, you. it'll be a really a uh, huge success. Um, we're gonna be playing a track then off uh, the EP. It's uh, "Spread Your Wings or Learn to Fall." Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for coming down. Uh, oh, how much will the EP be when you uh, sell it? It's five pound. Five yes. pound. Five pound for a shiny uh, physical copy. Yes. 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 People should have lots of physical CDs. I like them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is Static Fires then with "Spread Your Wings or Learn to Fall." Thank you guys very much. Oh, yeah, thank you. Bye. No problem. <laughs> You lie awake at night Nothing you do falls into place Take your time, do it right Gotta live life for your own pace Make some noise where you're going Make sure they know you've arrived But remember there's no knowing If they'll think of you after you Photographs, a can of worms you brought upon yourself. Forgotten memories flooding back that you can't erase or put on the shelf. Look inside and find the places and all the friends that you've disgraced. Look a little harder in your mind, you'll see yourself in every face. to walk.